Okay guys, so we're back with another video here, and today we're going to be doing twin little Ernie's. These are from Drifter Tackle. Nine inch Ernie, called Big Ernie's I think is what they're called on the website. Um, yeah, so let's paint them up. I don't really know what we're going to do yet, but I'm going to make them twins. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you when I figure out what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off with... Um, an opaque white base coat on both of these and then uh, I gotta decide what I'm gonna do and we'll go from there so here is the white base coat Okay, base coat's done. Turned out pretty well so far. Um, yeah, so I figured out what I'm gonna do for these. I'm gonna try to make them like a, a walleye pattern, a real young walleye pattern. Make it, keep it natural since it's gonna be fishing the St. Lawrence River. And I think that'll work well. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna start out with a very light yellow pattern. So I got this transparent yellow. And we're going to start out with that. Okay, now I'm going to spray just real lightly. I'm going to spray this transparent dark brown. Just a little bit of it leaving the yellow in the brush. Hopefully it'll blend together a little bit. And I'm just gonna come over this real lightly, like. Okay, so that's all I wanna do, just kinda darken it up a little bit, but not take the yellow completely away. So I got some of this pearl satin gold that I'm gonna use. And I'm going to start to darken things in a little bit. Okay, so that's done. And now I'm going to come up and I'm going to use um, some slightly more transparent dark brown, but I'm going to focus more up higher. And I just need a little bit of this. Okay, that'll work. And the same thing on this one. Okay, so there's what it looks like afterwards. So now we're gonna heat set these and then we're gonna wrap them up to create some scales on them. Okay, so I got these all wrapped up. Um, I just use lace for these because I want like a random pattern on there. And I'm just gonna come over it with some pearlized copper. And then I'm gonna finish it with some Wicked metallic, metallic Bronze. And I'm gonna fade it up the back. 
and then I'll pull it off and I'll do some details. Okay, so I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna fade them up the back. Okay, so the pearl copper's done. And now I'm gonna go on to the Wicked Metallic Bronze. Okay, and this one I really wanna focus just towards the back. Okay, so now I'm going to come over the back again with just a little bit of dark brown. Just to darken up the very back of it before I take this and heat set it and take it off. Okay, so pattern's done. Now I'm gonna heat set these and then unwrap them. All right, and here's the final product. Fully unwrapped in three, two, here is after unwrapping. Looks pretty good. So I'm gonna come down on the back with a little bit of brown. And here's what it looks like after the brown. Okay, we'll rinse our brush, and then we're gonna go to a little bit of accenting detail with Detail Black Magenta. Okay, so now we're just gonna take some of this Detail Black Magenta by Wicked, and we're gonna come down the back a little bit, and the head, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna just kinda make some swipes to kinda darken up some random spots along the back. So we're just gonna go real centered and down the back here, And that's good enough for that. And then a little bit on the face. And we're gonna do the same thing on this other one. Okay, and now we're just gonna come along on the back and the sides and we're just gonna angle it and we're just gonna give it a good spray. Okay, just to give it a little bit of depth. Okay, there's that. 
So now I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come right here with this detailed black magenta, right by the bill, underneath of the bill, and follow this gill line. Okay, so now all I'm doing is I'm just coming down the belly really light lately with this white, opaque white. And to give it the classic white walleye belly. Okay, so bellies are done, and now I'm just gonna give it that little bit of a walleye distinction at the back. A lot of times there's, you know, like a, a white kind of accent towards the back of their tail. So I'm just gonna put that in a little bit, real gently right here. So there's that on both sides. And I'll put that on the other lure here. So there's that on both of them. And now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over with some pearl white on the belly, just on the very center of the belly to make it kind of sparkle. Okay, so I'll do some pearl white, just a little bit. And we're just gonna come over the very center of the belly. So there's the pearl white on the belly. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of this fluorescent red. And I'm just gonna take it at a real low pressure. And I'm just gonna come right underneath this gill. Sorry about the angle while I'm doing this. This is pretty hard to get to. Okay, so the red under the lips are done or under the gills are done. And now all that's left is just putting eyes on it and painting the eyes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of opaque white. All right, so here's one of the, the finished walleye twins. Uh, I got the clear coat on it. As you can see, it's pretty sparkly. Put some uh, gold and silver sparkles in the clear coat with it. And yeah, I think they turned out pretty well. Uh, you can see the pattern when you tip it. Yeah, figured I'd show you guys the final update. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like this video, comment on it if you like the video. 
and make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. So I'll see you in the next one, guys.